Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with not a knife review for you. This is not a knife. I'm going to try and do some more EDC stuff on here, and I'm going to start with this. This is the Dosalfamir Top Sider Wallet. Amazing, cool design from Dosalfamir Leather. I will say this was provided to me by the manufacturer. Uh, Michael, really good guy. He's uh, active duty Navy, and uh, all these have, you know, naval inspired names and things. Uh, his name is Michael Bluth which I'm going to really resist making Arrested Development references while we do this, but, uh, you know, there's always money in the banana stand. That's it. I'm done now. I got it out of my system. I'm not going to say it anymore. But a really awesome product. How I wound up with this was uh, somebody posted yet another picture of a Dust Off a Mirror wallet on Instagram, which I don't blame them. They're gorgeous. And I replied, I think I'm the only YouTuber that doesn't have one of these, which I think is, is pretty correct. And he sent me a message to say, hey, do you want one? Yeah, so I chose the Top Sider because there aren't a lot of reviews of the Top Sider. There are a lot of the Gun Deck and the 5050, the newer one that's come out, which I, I do kind of want to get one of those too. But um, not many of this Top Sider, so that's why I chose this one. And it's really good for front pocket carry, and I'm a front pocket carry person. I don't like having stuff in my back pockets. I can't stand it. I actually ordered this with this color leather and a brown stitching. You have a whole bunch of custom options that you can get, which is great. They're all handmade when you order them. And uh, since I'm not paying for it, he chose to put the blue on it just to give it a little more pop of color. And you know what? He was right. The blue stitching was cool. It's a very unique design. It's just one piece of folded leather and then one little stitch there. It's very cool. What makes it different than the gun deck is you can see top sider as it's called because all your money is loaded from the top, which is pretty neat. I like this a lot. It allows you to open it up and just show or pull your cash out without having to like pull out all your cash or, or count through it. It makes it super easy just to flip it open and pull out one bill or two bills and hand it to somebody. It's really cool. The, it's just, as you can see, one folded thing. It's got plenty, plenty of room in it. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have six cards in it right now and nine bills. It could hold twice that probably easily. And it just closes super easy. Just fold it, tuck it in. It's great. It's super comfortable in the wallet. It's, as you can see, one thing I like about it that at first I thought this wallet's bigger than it needs to be because you see this extra space here. But what makes that nice is it is a little bit bigger than it needs to be, and it gives it some room to flex and move around. And I think overall, it does take up more room in my pocket than it would have to, but it's very comfortable because it's not a rigid thing. And your cards are rigid, obviously, but other than that, it's kind of a flexible thing and it moves around. I really like the leather on it, excellent quality. Um, I did put this mark on it. I've been had it for like a, I don't know, a week and a half. I don't know how I did that, but... I thought at first it was like, I'm a filthy vapor. I thought E-Juice leaked onto it or something, but it, it is a dent. I don't know what I did to it. Something in my pocket dented it, not the fault of theirs. But it's leather. It's going to break in. It's going to look cool. It's already started to change color just a little bit in the week and a half that I had it. I love the look of weathered leather. I think it looks really good. Uh, I wouldn't want it to stay looking brand new. So uh, very, very happy with it. It's a It's a really cool item. I was really surprised by how much I liked it. Um, I knew I was going to like it, but I like it even more than I thought I would. And I'm probably going to get another one. That 50-50 looks pretty cool. Uh, it's just pretty great. I'm going to do a few size comparisons just because, you know, I've never reviewed something like this before. So I don't really know a whole lot what to say about it. This is a Parker Jotter pen. Uh, what's another one? You hear pocket pen. I know a lot of us have these. Another YouTube darling. Dust off of mere leather wallets and pocket pens our two YouTube darlings for sure. You can kind of get a, an idea from that. Uh, you saw what size it was compared to regular US denomination bills. Pull out a couple of knives because this is technically a knife channel. So your Swiss Army Cadet, actually it's gonna be in your pocket. It's more appropriate to have it closed probably for something like this. See what size it is compared to that. And uh, it's better co PM2 since I have one laying here. See what size it is compared to that. But very, very cool. $65. They're, they are not cheap. Um, but they're not horribly expensive either for a handmade wallet. 
I just think it's really cool and you're supporting an active duty military person and I was an active duty military person trying to run a side business at the same time. I understand that struggle. Delivery time on this was pretty good. Uh, it, as I said, he made the change to the stitching, but he does, he's not going to do that to everybody else. That was just because I'm getting one for review. Uh, and I, I agree with his decision. So um, I think if I order 50-50, I'm just going to say, send me whatever you want because uh, he's got good taste. I think our tastes are pretty similar looking by his designs. But most of his designs are this one-piece folded leather. Some have a second piece, but most are just this one-piece folded leather, and they're just ingenious. And I love supporting a guy who's not only in the military and and really knocking it out with a side hustle, I also just like the ingeniousness of these. They are amazing. Very, very happy. I used to carry a, uh, well, I still have it over here. It holds all my spare cards. This uh, Nomadic um, Basic Wallet. I still like this too. This is even more minimalist. I do really like this too. But uh, I never thought something would displace this from my wallet. But I, I think, or from my pocket, I think this has. Uh, this is this is pretty great. I can still see times where I really want the smallest knife possible and I'll use the Nomadic. But for just everyday carry, this is, this is great. It's really good. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it, and I, I don't know anyone who's unhappy with their dust off and mirror uh, purchases, but go check them out. I haven't been in business that long since 2015, but a fair amount of time now. Great business, great product. Go check them out, and let me know if you want to see more EDC-type reviews here. I've got some pens and some stuff that I've thought about doing, so let me know in the comments below. hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.